Hey everyone, I'm just popping on. I've had a lot of people messaging me asking me how I tie my blanket to get it to lay flat. So I'm going to show you the trick. So instead of taking this and wrapping it around your finger and tying it the old traditional way, um, I actually found this idea. I YouTubed tie blankets. There's a YouTube video that shows you four different ways and this was one of the ways. So what you do is with the strip, you can just bend it forward like this and you do a little snip this way. Or what I'm finding easier is I just fold it forward like that and I'm just um, making a little slit in it. And I do that on a couple of the strips. I just, and it's just a tiny little one. You don't want to cut too far because you just want a tiny little slit that goes through each pieces of the fleece. And I just do a few at a time. And like I said, just a tiny, tiny little cut. Um, or this scissors is not the greatest, but what you can do is also fold it up like this and just make a little snip that goes through both, um, both pieces. So I'm going to show you on this one. So as you can see, there's a slit right here and there's a slit right here. So you're going to take your bottom one you're going to put it through the hole. Then you're going to take the bottom one and put it through your hole. And I do it one more time so the solid color is what's on top. And you have to play with it a little bit um, to get it a third time, but it's super easy. The fleece is pretty maneuverable um, and you just pull a corner through and there you go. And it lays flat. So again, your bottom goes through the slit. The next piece goes up through the slit. And then it goes through again. We'll try another one. So you go through the slit. So you go through the slit. And I do it one more time. And again, you don't want the hole too big um, because you don't, And but this is pretty, uh, these blankets are so forgiving. So if you do, it's not a huge deal. Okay, so now if you can see, I know a lot of people are like, your edges are so nice and neat. Um, well, this is my trick because I don't worry about my material matching up perfectly. I lay it to the majority, um, lay the top printed piece on top of the solid piece and get it lined up the best that I can. But I don't worry about trying to cut it straight because the edges, once you cut these, you're gonna be able to um, fix those the way you want. So like I said, you see the edges? Well, the trick is to just, I just snip. And I wait till I have several pieces so I get a good guide, um, to just even them out. And there you go. So again, you're making two slits. You're folding this piece over. You're just making a tiny little slit in there in both pieces. You've got the slit there, if you can see it. You're poking it through. You're taking the, poking it through, and then I poke it a third time. Um, so I can have the solid color on the top. Now this way is a little putzier, but like I said, I prefer to do it this way because I like how flat, I like how flat this looks. And if you can see the blanket, I mean, it's not puckering up. When you tie it, it tends to pucker, so. All right, I hope that helps you out. Have fun.